Welcome to the Sacred Sage. Well, I thought I must do something different this time. And I'll tell you the reason why. Since yesterday night, and I know it is the whole realization and the turmoil that I've been going through since yesterday night is because of the Venus shift. Venus is now in Libra. And I think the effect of it is going to stay in our life uh, for about 18 months. The whole transit period of Venus in Libra and uh, during the course of her journey, it's going to be something significant in our twin soul journeys. Now, For each one who has believed that you have a twin soul and whether you are already connected or you're waiting for one, you know that the last few months and years have been quite tormenting. Tormenting because in the 3D world, we don't really understand why is it getting so difficult. Every time you thought something's getting resolved, something else went for a toss. And I think it the whole back and forth and the weight and the craving, it's, it's all been taking a toll. And now that Venus has shifted, and Jupiter has already made its shift, life is only going to get better. The path will be clear. And I know it's difficult to believe because we've all gone through so much that to even imagine that it's going to be an easy ride from here on is slightly difficult. Now, when I say easy, I'm not saying that it's going to be something that will transform overnight. All that I'm trying to tell you is that, yes, you were supposed to learn a few lessons. Your twin soul was supposed to learn a few lessons, whether it was about the third party or it was about being in karmic relationships or situation, which could help both of you evolve into the twin soul energy of giving and loving selflessly. I think that had to happen for you to increase your vibration. It's not always about life and the universe being cruel and you getting your lessons right or wrong and then being punished. A lot of people think like that. No, it's not like that. The universe doesn't come to punish you. The universe always says that if you learned your lessons right and if you could reclaim the power and the wisdom of your divine soul energy, then everything that you want can manifest. And don't forget that your twin soul is is just a mirror reflection of who you are. So if they've been difficult and that's what you think, then there is a part of you that is actually unhealed or has not evolved to the state of being in perfect divine union. And that is the reason why you have to go through these experiences so that you can change your vibration. Now, with all the wisdom of the lessons that you've learned in the past months and years, you're now moving into a period where Venus in Libra and Jupiter in Sagittarius together collectively, in conjunction with Saturn, who's the karmic master, will now finally show you the way. Now, it could mean different things for different people. For example, maybe you thought somebody is your twin soul and it is quite possible that the revolutions uh, come across in a way where you realize that maybe he or she wasn't the twin soul. Maybe you meet someone new, only if you're ready for it. I'm not saying that you should leave the relationship that you're in. I'm just saying this is a general reading, so stay there. Watch, observe, learn, evolve, apply all of the wisdom that you have. Use it to your advantage as you walk forward in the twin soul journey. So yeah, it is also possible that you were with somebody or you're still with someone and the relationship has been this bumpy ride. Maybe you have been struggling to make it perfect. Maybe you were the only one making all the effort to somehow ensure that something about it comes back on track where you've been waiting for them to realize that, oh my God, he or she is my soulmate. What have I been doing? 
maybe you've just been craving for them to come to you and and be in this divine union and it's not been happening it is possible that you're quite exhausted and tired it is also possible that you're feeling extremely hopeless about it and you don't know what to do with it all i'm trying to tell you is that life is about to change and you got to prepare yourself for the change and that is why we are doing these special readings at the sacred sage for each one of you to understand your own twin soul journey it will help you understand yourself better and it will also help you understand your twin soul it's possible that they are not so evolved as you are the reason why they are not watching this reading and you are watching this reading is because you are more evolved you understand the whole energy dynamics and you've been learning your lessons you've been patient you've been kind and giving and nurturing and you have accepted the fact that they also have to go through what they have to go through to be able to be in perfect union with you and since you are the loving one it's only fair for you to give it due share of time and wait for them to get to the level where they can be up to the mark not up to the mark in the 3d way up to the mark spiritually where their vibration matches with your vibration of spiritual evolution and they can be ready for the perfect union i know you have been waiting for this for a long long time but i must promise you that the energies are shifting whatever is love and whatever is twin soul for you whoever is the twin soul for you i do know that it will come to you it's just a matter of time and all the lessons that you learned to be so loving and kind to be so selfless to believe in the universe and its magic all of that love and magic is going to come to you so keep the faith and let's get started with your reading dear aries you're meant to live heaven now not later sometime after you die what use is this life and body if not to live heaven now look for the mad divine genius in all that is especially the puzzling parts of your life that make you scratch your head or tear at your hair or scrunch up on your face and scream with frustration those are the places in which the divine is saying here heaven is hiding let's unveil it together let me show you let me unveil your own mad divine genius right here look for heaven even in hiding it will not withhold itself from you for long beloved it wants you to be known by you this oracle message for you is a special one the enlightener is calling you to more to more and to more more divinity more love more acceptance more embrace of life itself there is no limit in what is being offered to you from the divine lover calling to you the beloved rejoice and know that the dance of love between you and the divine is removing the wheels of illusion one at a time until you behold each other naked and true finally to discover each other you are love the sky ablaze with the morning light on silver wings of birds in flight in gratitude a tear released a knowingness embraced at peace she speaks to those that gaze below ancestral wings which may call my soul to open hearts and soar above in all the winds await this love that's so beautiful really very beautiful 
Okay. It says, devotion to the small, which means she bows, she honors growth. She sees that within the smallest flower, there is the teaching of earth, the gospel of Gaia, the goddess of earth, the mystery of life demonstrated. She recognizes that she too is of nature, subject to the mysteries of growth and life, that in honoring nature, in taking pleasure in life, she opens her heart to allow great creation to happen through her. This is the divine feminine wisdom, alive in men and women with open hearts. There is an innate wisdom within you that understands this is devotion to Earth Mother as important step in fulfilling your spiritual destiny on this planet. She is speaking to you now, letting you know that there is a small change happening, something that is growing within you, that you may recognize but not think is so important. And yet she tells you now, that it is very significant. Soon you will see that what you thought was a seed to yield in a single flower is actually blossoming into a lush garden of manifestation. Gratitude and love for small changes happening are leading you into fullness, a fullness that you can only dream of. So enjoy it. The message of this oracle for you is that you are blossoming. It is occurring now. And the Mother Earth has gratitude for your presence within her being, for the work you are doing to help other human beings. She asks for you to surrender any concerns that you have to her, to let her creative power continue gently to guide you into the rightful place in the world that may shine. It will make you feel as if you were born to do this, to be in service to the evolution of this planet. She is helping you now. Trust her. A flower is a poem that tells you the truth of a thought in the fragrance of a dream as a fleeting heartbeat as a lasting memory. And then the God speaks. The divine is speaking to you directly. Underneath the silence, there is an endless music of love pulsating throughout the universe. Within the sacred sound, there is guidance. It may or may not have words. It might be a feeling in your heart that you can only access when you are still relaxed, dancing in yoga practice, or even half asleep. It assures you that behind any struggle or challenge, there is only ever the divine seeking you out, calling you to surrender some fear or doubt or other, so you can move closer. Trust in the sound of love beyond anything else, for in truth, no matter what may appear to be, there is nothing else. This oracle brings you the guidance that you are being loved into becoming. Be open into being shown the divine genius in all that is happening. If you are being held back, know that you are being held back by the divine. All is happening perfectly for you and all will unfold in the divine timing. So wait for it. Be patient and enjoy all that is happening to you now. You are the creator of your own destiny and the universe is helping you recognize it. Take care and stay blessed.